Well, I thought I would offer something up here. <clears throat> I'm thinking about, well, I'm wanting to actually. I'm thinking about starting two finger, what they call old time two finger banjo lessons. And um, so I guess I'm wanting to see if I get any kickback from um, the viewers or anything that might be interested in doing and in, in learning old time two finger. Um, I will say this, the banjo is a very easy instrument <clears throat> to, to learn. Um, <clears throat> It's uh, the old time two finger way is a real easy way to get introduced to the banjo. And it's also a real good way to stick with it. And what happens is you start uh, creating your own style. About everybody that's ever played what they start off old time two finger, they actually, I've never seen anyone that actually plays it the same as another person. Uh, unless they're copying tablature or copying somebody else, it would sound the same. But as far as their own personal style that you develop after you play this thing a while, uh, everybody kind of gets their own own style going, which makes it really fun and makes it really good. And of course, the banjo is the it's one of the easiest instruments to uh, get introduced to to play that style. Uh, but it's like anything, you can take it as far as you want to go to levels that, you know, that are just unbelievable or are really highly difficult. Um, but it doesn't have to be difficult to play really good, wholesome music. I, lo I, lo I love playing hymns, the old two finger style. Um, I, my style is that, that I've developed is uh, I play old, I, I incorporate the old time two finger style uh, but along with that, I've created my own roles and some of my own methods to add to that. And that's what has given me a, that type of style that I play. Uh, you learn these, um, it might, as a beginner, you may just hear someone play a banjo and say, well, it just sounds like a banjo. But after you're in it a while, you realize that, that about everybody, people have different styles and methods of, of playing. But anyway, I'm trying to make a long story short here. Uh, I was thinking about teaching this two finger style. I guarantee you, if you want to learn, you can learn to play the banjo. It has nothing to do with talent at all. Don't ever be fooled into thinking that. Anyone can learn to play the banjo if you want to learn. And I think I can get you started playing it relatively fast um, by teaching you my, my style, my, my method of playing. And so, uh, if you are interested in learning, don't ever let think that talent kicks in. Hard work will go further than talent if it's, uh, if talent's not used. But, um, a lot of it is, uh, learning. I'll teach you how to do two finger rolls, learning them and, uh, developing good thumb um, coordination on strings um, that that will be a quick way to learn just remember you know the old saying is go slow learn fast go fast learn slow so we'll go through it slowly but it won't take you long I promise you to learn how to play the the five string banjo so um, what you're gonna need is to get started is well a five string banjo, the five string banjo. And they, they come in different costs, different prices. Um, you can buy, uh, whenever I first got into this, I found a banjo for, uh, I think it's about $150. But I have seen them as low as $110. It was just a, it was a cheap banjo, but I got into it thinking, well, let me get this thing to see if I can even play it. Well, <clears throat> whenever I found out I could play it, then, and, you know, which anybody can play the banjo if you want to, make no mistake. Uh, whenever I learned to start playing it, I started thinking, 
it really wasn't holding up because I kind of started off what they call, what I was just playing was two finger, but you know, I started off actually claw hammer, you know, and um, we take your four finger and uh, uh, let's see here, I'm trying to think of, of what I could play on there, but. Uh, At. I started off like that, but what I'm going to be teaching is two finger. Now, uh, you'll need the banjo right here. You got these picks. I like using picks, but picks is a choice. Picks is a choice, and um, I use. A, I like a metal thumb pick. A lot of players don't like a metal thumb pick. So they get these little plastic thumb picks. They're not that expensive. The metal ones are a little bit more expensive, but I just like the metal ones. And then since it's just two finger, I like uh, using these little pro pick angled Sharpie and uh, real nice little picks. And here's the, the thumb pick I should, it, it's a pro pick, I like pro pick. But it's all personal choice, preference. Once you play a while, you'll start developing your own preference. And if you're wondering, I use an old, this one's kind of dungy, nasty, been washed a few times. I got new ones, but I use a, just a sweat banding. I got this at Walmart. My wife got it for me. It's just an old Wilson tennis sweat band. But I like using it because you don't have to get one of these to play, but the metal on the banjo there, some people have metal armor. Now you can get wooden armrests or you get into upper grades or you can order wooden armrests and then put on a cheaper banjo or whatever and you won't get that metal allergy thing going. But this, the, this nickel silver type metal on the banjo breaks me out. And this does add a little padding too if you're not going to use an armrest, which this banjo doesn't have armrest. I don't like armrest. Some people do. That's fine. But uh, that's why I use that. It's not for looks, style, but it really keeps your, your wrist from getting itchy and breaking out into a rash. So you got the banjo, you got the pick. This is what you'll need to get started. And uh, you'll. Um, right here and also the way i'm teaching i'm not a professional nothing you know like that music wise i'm i'm just teaching with just old time porch style music it's uh it's not technical it's i'm not politically correct i don't claim to be i'm just teaching the way that you would have normally learned back in the days that we that our forefathers would teach their children as they're growing up in home, you know, the, the music that the banjo, the, the banjo especially, and we're in our region where we live, here in West Virginia, um, it was a pretty popular instrument and about every household had one, either that or a guitar, something like that. And so they just learned and passed it down, but we're, we've gotten so far removed from that sort of thing in today's world uh, if you're wanting to learn, you kind of got to, um, you know, find somebody that'll teach you. Uh, I said there, and also I'll say this, there's many good teachers online that they have different ways of teaching. They're probably a little bit more technical and all that, but try any of them out, go on the internet and give them all a shot. You might find someone you really like that can do a real good job. But the way I'm teaching is basically porch picking, not technical at all. Uh, but anyway, getting off track, this here is a tuner. You will want one of them. Uh, you will want one of them. Now, I realize that this ain't really old time, but see, they had their granddads and dads and everything to teach them. Well, since you don't, and to develop that ear, you're going to want one of these. And uh, that, that's a must. Get a tuner. I like this tuner. It's called a Snark Super Tight. It's a real good tuner. It's done me well. It's pretty sturdy. You can get them online for, I've seen them as low as 14 bucks. 
I think 16 bucks will get you this tuner. If you're into the metronome thing, it has a little built-in metronome. In case you're wondering what a metronome is, it teaches you to learn to, your timing. But since we're just porch pickers, I'd recommend just using your foot. So what well, if you're not exactly on time? As long as it sounds good, that's all that matters, right? Because this is low tech. But um, anyway, there's that. Now, so you got the tuner, the picks, the picks, and then the banjo. If you got one just laying around in a bed or on, under your bed or whatever, just grab it. Any, any five-string banjo will work. And I would recommend getting a strap. You're going to want a strap. It helps you keep control of your banjo. As you, this here is a pretty upgrade banjo. As you can see, it's got the shoe belt on it. It's a uh, Wildwood, the guy that makes it, he does not make these anymore. And you may decide to get you an upper grade banjo once you start learning how to play. I would recommend it. Now when I say upper grade, I got a good deal on this. I got a real good deal on this, but you can find, you can find, you can get banjos 500 bucks, 600 bucks once you get into it, but you know, um, you can get the, um, like I said, the one I started off on, it's, it's still back there, still holding up. So you just have to, you know, but anyway, you want the five string banjo and like I said, a strap, get you a strap. But, uh, anyhow, so that's what you'll need to get started. Now, if, uh, If uh, if you guys are interested, I'd appreciate a little kick. Uh, what I say, kickback. I mean views and stuff, and 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 comments saying that you'd be interested in this sort of thing. I want no money at all for this. Uh, I'm not doing this. It's a hobby to me. Uh, I would like to see other people enjoy playing the banjo. And I might even do some dulcimer lessons too eventually. Um, but uh, I just want to see people enjoy playing the banjo with all this COVID stuff going on. And, uh, you know, you just never do know what um, might can't keep you housed up and makes the winters go by quicker. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. I'd recommend learning it. Um, it's something you can do your whole life. And I'll say this, if you have children, I would recommend getting children involved in strings. I really would. If Whether it's banjo, guitars, fiddle, mandolin, whenever you, they're like little sponges. They can learn so fast and they develop an ear early on. Most of them become really good musicians and um, they end up loving it. They really do end up loving it. So if you have children, the way I'm gonna teach this uh, it should be as easy as a child can understand. And, uh, so I think I've covered what all you need. And, uh, so what happens is I'm going to do these videos. If it's something you're interested in, give me some comments. Cause, um, I want to know what I'm doing is going to mean something here. Uh, like I said, it's no cost at all. If you, want to to stay up on the videos i do go to um uh, on youtube it'll have a subscribe subscribe button if you'll hit that and then hit the bell button then then that does not cost you anything to do that but what that does is whenever i make a new video then it'll come up that um that video will pop up on your site that I've got a new lesson to, to learn. But we're just gonna take it in baby steps and in a matter of no time, you'll be playing the banjo if this is something you wanna do and stuff. So um, I probably haven't covered all my ground. I didn't write notes down. That's what I said. This is just porch picking lessons. So um, anyway, I would like to say Thank you for viewing this video, 
And I'd like to leave you always with um, John 3, 16, uh, what, what Jesus Christ did on that cross for us. To, if we'll just put our trust in him, accept him as our Savior, we'll be saved. The John 3, 16 in the Bible, I like the King James Version. It's, for me, it's the only one, but, you know. Uh, so anyway, John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him uh, should not perish but have everlasting life. So God bless you, and give me some comments on this to let me know if you're interested, and we'll get these banjo lessons kicking off.